Hi guys, welcome back and today we're about half an hour outside of Manchester in Hebden Bridge. So if you saw our vlog before we came and explored back in the lockdown and it was stunning and I fully fell in love with this beautiful town. So today we're going to come and explore and show you guys what the top five things to do are here in Hebden Bridge. Welcome to Hebden Bridge, one of the most beautiful towns in England, the fourth funkiest town in the world and even quoted to be the greatest town in Europe by Culture Trip. Needless to say, this place has some mega hype around it. Hebden Bridge used to be an old mill town until the 70s when a mixture of hippies, artists, photographers, you get the picture, came and transformed it into the bohemian place it is today. Everywhere you look, the place shines with beauty. Here is a list of the top five things to do in Hebden Bridge, but by no means is the list exhausted. One of the best things to do in Hebden Bridge is go on a beautiful countryside walk. So there are actually four main walks you can do that you can see like a sign outside of the train station and you can follow them there. We did one in Hardcastle Crags last time we were here and explored the Gibson Mill. But there is actually a beautiful one along the Rochdale Canal and Hebden Bridge is well known for its uh, beauty so you get to see all of the beautiful sights when you're walking along the canal. So we'll pop in the footage from the last time we did the walks here. Hardcastle Crags is a short distance from Hebden Bridge and is home to over 400 acres of woodland. We chose a relatively short walk that day, exploring the tumbling waterfalls, observing the 19th century Gibson Mill and bustling wildlife. This valley was once known as the Switzerland of Yorkshire. I'll drop a link in the description below of a good article that features a large variety of walks. One of the next things to do in Hebden Bridge is come and explore their market, which it's famous for, which is on every Thursday to Sunday, 9am to 4. And this one just down here has loads of little um, shops that you can go explore, has little trinkets you can buy. And there's also a food market as well that does pizzas and like pastries and stuff. So you can have a good half an hour having a nosy around the shop. We're gonna go have an explore now. Time to go shopping. So as I said, different days call for different stalls at Hebden Bridge Market. Thursdays feature fresh produce and wider retail. Fridays, secondhand goods. Saturdays are for arts, crafts and artisan products. And Sundays are focused around local produce and street food. Take your pick and get spending and supporting these local businesses. and stuff. Oh yeah, look, they look nice. Last time we came, we actually tried some of the lovely food from the market. There's like a food stall here, so we grabbed some food, we've got chicken curry, Gaz has ordered some salt and pepper chips from this van here, and there's like a little man singing, a busker. There's a massive Christmas tree, so it's really Christmassy in the town, it's really cool. Taste test. <laughs> Good. Curry. Very nice. And the next top thing to do in Hebden Bridge is to go on a canal tour up and down the Rochdale Canal. So I've got a few to choose from. There's one which is 40 minutes long that does the history about Hebden Bridge. There's another one which is an afternoon tea one. And there's another one also that's a Sunday dinner one. And if you know anything about me and Gaz, we love a boat trip. Since we have no B-roll for this one, we're gonna insert some fun B-roll of our boat trips in the past here. <laughs> Same as a nice relaxing canal river tour, but my point is, who doesn't love cruising along some water with beautiful scenery? If you go to hebdenbridgecruises.com, you can book your cruise, but be aware that if you're a small party, they may not go ahead if there isn't enough bookings. These tours look epic, and they're on our list for our next trip to Hebden Bridge. Right. 
So, the next thing to do in Hedford Bridge is to check out some of the small independent shops and boutiques. So there's loads of different shops such as pet shops, art galleries, toy shop um, and places just to buy little gifts and trinkets for people so check them out. Time for another spot of retail therapy. Get your head buried into some of these really unique shops. One thing I love about independent stores is that you're extremely unlikely to see someone with the same item. This vintage shop had some really cool clothes. Should I get a Coke or a coffee? Right, the final thing to do in Head and Bridge is to check out the bars, cafes and restaurants. So we're currently at a place called Marco's which is number one for pizza and it does really nice homemade pizzas, vegan pizzas and gluten free pizzas. But there's loads of pubs, cafes, restaurants, fish and chip shops and places to check out after your walk so have a look around. And if you're lucky as us for the weather and you can sit and eat your pizza down by the beautiful river which is why it's probably so loud and also go and explore all the pubs which we'll be checking out later on today so we're excited for that get some nice drinks but the town is very bustling it's a really nice atmosphere I'm not even joking, the best pizza I've ever eaten, like unreal, gluten free as well for anyone that does follow us, I know it's gluten free but my god, stunning, stunning. So off we went for a little bar crawl to finish our lovely day at Hebden Bridge. It's unlikely you can fit all five things into 24 hours but we hope you choose your top view and have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next week. Bye.